Today we'll be talking about hepatitis. What is hepatitis? Hepatitis is a disease of the liver that is caused by viruses. How many types of hepatitis are there? There are five types, A, B, C, D, and E. Hepatitis A and E are transmitted through feces. When feces gets into a person's mouth, it can trigger the infection. How are the other three types transmitted? Hepatitis B is transmitted through blood or by sex. Hepatitis C mainly through blood and hepatitis D can only be transmitted if hepatitis B is present. People who inject drugs into their veins or share needles are likely to get hepatitis B and C. What is the first thing that happens when a person contracts hepatitis B? The first thing that happens is the appearance of hepatitis B surface antigen in the blood. How soon after the infection would hepatitis B surface antigen show up in the blood? Maybe one to two weeks after. That's not all. The virus will begin to multiply itself in the person. This is called viral load. How can a person tell if there is a viral load? The replication is indicated by the presence of hepatitis B E antigen in the blood. Hepatitis B E antigen is clear evidence of infectivity. Just to make it clear, hepatitis B surface antigen indicates the liver is infected and hepatitis B E antigen indicates the virus is multiplying. That's not all. There is what is known as hepatitis B core antibody. Hepatitis B core antibody is a combination of two antibodies, namely IgG and IgM. Hepatitis B core antibodies emerge sometime after infectivity. What does the hepatitis core antibody represents? It represents two phases of hepatitis. IgG represents past infection and IgM represents acute infection. What happens to hepatitis B surface antigen after infection has occurred? Once the hepatitis virus is cleared from the person's body, the hepatitis B surface antigen disappears and should be undetectable. Is there any situation where the hepatitis B surface antigen will not disappear after the virus is cleared from the body? That's a great question. The answer is yes. The surface antigen will remain in the person's blood if the person develops chronic hepatitis B. Let's go over what happens when someone contracts hepatitis B virus. Hepatitis B surface antigen appears. Viral multiplication occurs. Core antibody appears. Hepatitis B surface antigen disappears. And finally, anti-hepatitis B surface antigen antibody appears. Hepatitis B antibody should develop in one to three months after infection. Also, a person may receive the vaccination and develop antibodies. There is something very important that you have to remember and that is hepatitis core antibody does not confer immunity. How should someone look with hepatitis B? 
In extreme cases, they may have yellow eyes, which is called jaundice, dark urine, which is due to bilirubin, red palm, bleeding problems, which is due to a lack of clotting factors, and they may have fluid all over due to a lack of albumin. In closing, let me summarize this for you. How many types of hepatitis are there? There are five types of hepatitis. Which hepatitis is contracted through oral fecal contamination? Hepatitis A and E are contracted through oral fecal contamination. Which hepatitis needs to be present for hepatitis D to manifest? Hepatitis D needs hepatitis B to be present in order to manifest. Which hepatitis marker represent viral multiplication? Hepatitis B E antigen indicates multiplication of the virus. Which two immunoglobulins are associated with hepatitis? IgG and IgM. Which immunoglobulin represents past infection? IgG represents past infection. And finally, which is the earliest sign of acute hepatitis B infection? Hepatitis B surface antigen is the earliest sign of acute infection. I hope I cleared up hepatitis for you and I wish you well. Good night.